What's up, everyone? Nate Sarantino here, back with another episode of the Guided Spirits Podcast, and today I need to talk to you about adversity again. The second episode of this podcast was on adversity, and it's time to bring it up again because I have been going through a lot lately. I know a lot of people have been going through a lot. We just had the another and I hate saying another, another school shooting down in Nashville, and I have been praying for all of those who have been affected by the shooting, and not only directly as the families and for those who lost their lives, but for everything that's going to happen, the domino effect that is about to occur from this one mass incident. With that being said... I want to start off with how my Monday morning went, and so I wake up, and I got out of bed really late. I had class at 9.40, and I got out of bed at 9. I was like, ah, shit, I gotta get going. So I live 20 minutes from the school, and it's at least a 5 to 10 minute scooter ride to my class from the parking garage on the opposite side of the campus. Now, I get out of bed. I get my stuff ready. I normally always get my my school stuff ready, pick out all my clothes. I do everything in preparation the night before so I can just, like, get out of bed, throw my clothes on, brush my teeth, bathroom, leave, and then I'm on my way. And I sometimes eat breakfast if I have time or if I have food because if you know the situation I'm in right now, I'm really broke and I'm trying to balance out how much money I'm spending on food so I don't waste money on food. Now, where we just skip breakfast, we go straight to school. I don't leave my house till 9.20. I get to the school, it's like 9.38. And I'm like, all right, well, class starts in two minutes. I'm going to get there. And I like, I didn't want to skip class. Like that's when I, when I woke up, I was like, I don't even know if I want to go to class. And I like, my discipline was like, you got to go to class. Like you can't skip class again. And this is organic chemistry. And, like, I'm actually not doing that well in a class. So, like, if I skip this class, like, it's gonna re- it reflects in my grade. And I've already skipped it a couple times prior to this day. So, I'm, like, busting my ass to get to this class, like, relatively on time. And I'm bombing all these hills on my scooter. Bombing as in going down the hill, like, really fast. And I am, like, probably, like... 20 feet from the door and I'm now going flat again and I have a lot of speed and I'm and there's there's a wall that's like there it's like a foot off the ground and it's like a foot wide and I know I've jumped over this wall many times well the difference between right now and the many times is I had my backpack on with all my stuff my macbook pro my school my school notebooks I don't bring any textbooks to school nor do I even buy any textbooks because they're a waste of money everything's online for free um so um all I have is my computer and I have two glass bottles of water each holding 48 ounces those are each about the bottles weigh at least like three pounds four pounds themselves the glass and then however much 48 ounces of water weighs it's like you know probably like close to like a third of a gallon so like three pounds we'll say anyways regardless I'm like, you got all that weight, my weight's off, and then I try to jump over the wall, and when I go to jump over it, I, like, go straight over, I jump over, but I don't jump further enough, and I go over the handlebars, and I flip over the handlebars and land on my back. I break one of the glass bottles, and the other glass bottle didn't break. Well, I get to the door and I'm like, oh shit, my back is soaked. Uh-oh, I broke one of the bottles. I open the bag and I'm like, 
I'm like kind of freaking out. I'm like, this isn't good. I pull all my books out and like there's glass all over my bag. Everything's soaked. And I completely forgot my laptop was in there. And then I'm shaking out the bag of all the glass and a piece of glass swipes my thumb and cuts the tip of my thumb off. And I don't even want to begin to describe how bloody it was, but I was I start bleeding all over the floor. I have a I have my bag soaked. I, there's still glass everywhere. I just dumped glass into this trash can, and half of it didn't even go into the trash can. And I was like bleeding. I'm like panicking. Like shit. I want to get to class. Like what am I gonna do? Like I'm literally like I'm next to the door to the classroom bleeding, and it's so bad. Like it literally couldn't have been worse. And I'm like freaking out, and I'm thinking like oh shit. Like, like, I gotta clean up my thumb. I can't just walk into this class, like, bleeding everywhere with, like... So it didn't completely cut the tip off. Like, imagine from, like, where, like, the side of your... Like, on your left thumb, like, just at the top corner to the left, that all the way across the nail down to, like, the other side where it starts to go straight up and down and less curved and then the front of the thumb, and it was hanging on by, like, what I would say, like, a quarter centimeter, and then the rest of it was hanging off, and I kind of just, like, popped it back on, and just, like, held a paper towel on it, and it just, like, this kept dripping blood, but I'm, like, I just, that's all I did, I didn't clean it up, I go to class, I'm still bleeding, and I'm, I'm just, like, keep, like, take, yeah, just, like, got enough paper towels that I could, like, manage to, like, you know, not bleed all over the, like, carpet in the classroom, and, um, this lecture hall has, like, 200 kids in it, by the way, so, like, I walk in, like, bleeding, and I'm just, like, fuck it, like, whatever, what are they gonna say, like, they can't kick me out, and, um, so I'm doing my thing, and, I sit next to this girl and she looks at me and she's like horrified. Like she looks at me and then she looks away. And like, meanwhile, I'm like, I just pull out my notebook that's like soaked in water, like enough, not completely just the bottom like corner or bottom edge was like, it was only the bottom edge of all my books that got wet somehow. I think it's cause all the water, um, like went to the bottom of the bag cause I stood up right away after I fell and somehow my Mac, I completely forgot until I got into this lecture hall that my MacBook was in my bag. And I pull it out and I'm like, all right, it, it's probably fine. Like it, like everything else like is fine. So I just like let it, I like wipe it off and like, I don't try to use it yet. I'm, I don't need to in this class. I'm just taking notes with a pen. So I get through the class and I go, I go tend to my thumb after the class and actually like I go to like the cafeteria in the Davis Center and I ask some random lady who works there if they have any isopropyl or band-aids and she gives me some antibiotic band-aids. I bandage myself up. I go to see and I go to write my blog post um, and I go to turn on my laptop and it doesn't turn on and I knew I charged it fully the night before and I was like oh fuck no way so immediately I'm like all right well this is probably like bad I bring it to the tech team they open it up the inside is covered with water this is like a 2000 MacBook Pro I got for Christmas 2021 my parents bought it for me shout out to my parents I the tech team's like, yeah, like, we opened it up, they even brought me in to come see it, like, I got to see the inside, it's, like, covered in water, all the, like, expensive computer parts are covered in water, and they're like, yeah, it's gonna be, like, $1,400 to fix, I'm like, yeah, well, you know what, I can barely afford to eat right now, um, so I don't think that's gonna work, so now I have no MacBook, I'm a college student, in the middle, like, in the second half of my semester, and I have, like, a lab report due in two days, and another one due in three days, then I lost everything for my company on that laptop. I lost all the backups for my phone and I lost so many pictures and all this stuff that I'm never going to be able to get back. Some, hopefully I can figure out a way to get the stuff off the hard drive. Uh, if any of you know how, let me know. I'm going to do some research on it too. I haven't even gotten to that point because of how busy this week has been. But I'm going 
after that tech team, I am like, you know, I go and I just, I write my, instead of like, you know, this like bailing, like most people like wouldn't have even gone to class after like they like fell and cut their thumb and broke their, like, you know, like broke a glass bottle. Like I hate breaking my glass bottles. It's a pain, but like I cut the shit out of my thumb and I'm going and I like, and continue with my day, I end up writing the blog post on my phone, and I get the blog post done, because, like, I have to do my blog post every Monday, like, it's just, like, it's, like, ritual, like, it's discipline, and so I get that shit done, and then I'm, like, all right, how am I gonna get through the rest of the day, what do I have to do, oh, yeah, I only have one more class, and that's bio, well, bio was easy, because I have a notebook, and all I do is take notes with my pen, so, you know, another simple thing, like him, I just have to show up to class to watch the slide and watch the teacher's lecture. Now, the thing is, we have this thing called an eye clicker. It's like you answer questions on the board with this little remote that like connects to like a thing and everyone in the class. This lecture also has like 200 people, but that doesn't matter at this point. Like, you know, it was just like going to any class. And I realized when I was shaking out my bag of all the glass after I took everything out, I forgot to take out the eye clicker and I accidentally threw mine away. So then I got to this class and it was like, shit, where'd it go? Oh, fuck. I threw it away. And, you know, it's like a $5 thing that I got for free from the library, but I threw the library's eye clicker away. Meanwhile, Wednesday, I went back and I uh, I got another eye clicker free, which is cool because, like, they don't, like, ask what happened to the other one. But, like, you know, no one really needs to know. It's, like, things happen. <laughs> Anyways, so now I'm, like, still on that Monday. Things just, like, things slowly got better throughout the day. And then... By the end of the day, I have a, my first intramural hockey game goes good. I just wrap my thumb up in hockey tape and I just play with this thumb that I cut so bad the same day. And I was just like, whatever, like, you know, it's like, this is like how, like, all these problems, I like this faced them. Like, I was just like, fuck it. Like, I got this shit. Like, no matter what happened to me, I just like kept going on with my day. I just kept moving forward. Like, the only way is through. Like, you get through, like, shit gets smeared in your face and you just keep on moving forward. Like, breaking that laptop was brutal. I forgot to add this. I went to my, uh, one of my, like, it's uh, a fellowship meeting for, like, Christianity on Monday night. They have, like, a dinner, and then they do a little sermon. And the leaders of this group, Kai Alpha, Daniela, and Isaac, shout out to them. They're like, oh, my gosh. they I, I'm talking to them, and I tell them what happened with my laptop. And they're like, oh, we just got a new laptop. Um, we can give you one. And I'm like, no way. And basically, I already got a new laptop for free. It's like some 2010-ish Dell. And it's like, you know, it's pretty big for a laptop, but they gave it to me for free and it works perfect. And I am so grateful for it. Like, I don't know what I'd do without it. Like, it was how I got all those things I had to get done for Wednesday and Thursday, which is today that I'm recording this, done. And it literally saved me. Now, with that being said, being grateful for the little things is so key. Like, you understand, like, when shit's going really bad, there's going to be some things that go well. Being grateful for those things that go well is going to help you get through those really bad things. Second, when you're being faced with really adverse situations, you're going to have to understand that they are happening for a reason. And that reason is going to be based on the perspective of the person who is experiencing them. You're going to see things that happen from a domino effect based on that adverse situation you were faced with that is going to lead you to a whole new path or a whole new purpose. Things that happen to people that are really bad often have very big impacts on the rest of their lives. For instance, those people who lost those kids, who lost their kids in the Nashville shooting, and not only that, all the other shootings that have happened, who people who lose their family members, they that affects the rest of their life 
but the way they let that affect the rest of their life can change drastically. Now, these parents who lose their kids, they're probably going to want to pr- promote stricter gun laws now, or they're going to want to get on the government's ass about not letting, you know, 28-year-old trans women or men, I don't know which, I think she was, regardless of that fact, from buying a gun or an AR-15, for instance, like, I genuinely don't see a very great use for AR-15s. Now, at the same time, everyone deserves their rights, and the Second Amendment is important. Now, if people are going to keep shooting other people for no reason, realistically, the world would be a better place if there was no guns. Now, the issue here is if everyone had a gun that would be ideal but everyone doesn't so if it's it has to be all or nothing is what i'm getting to like it will never work if it's half and that's like that's one of my company tenants anyways you i'm not going to talk about that in this podcast you get hit with adversity you face that shit head on no matter what the fuck it is you just face it head on like it no matter how bad it is you just take that and you let it sink into your soul and you say fuck you i can do better and then you just move forward like that broken laptop i'm like i'm trying to come up with money to pay my bills at the first week of april right now it's the last day of march i'm like how am i going to do this I got to make that shit happen. And like, I didn't even think about the laptop until all of a sudden I'm trying to write that blog post. And I'm like, shit, like, how do I make this happen? I'm going to write this blog post on my phone. How do I make this happen? I'm going to do it this way. Like, you have to be able to come up with solutions on the fucking spot. Like, you can't just be like, tripping thinking that the world's ending because one bad thing happened to you now this is just money and a laptop and it's just school now how can you take in the worst situations possible and turn the negative into a positive how can you reflect on everything that has happened to you and turn that negative into a positive because i guarantee if you can make every bad situation that has happened to you in your life into a lesson or into something that is meaningful in a positive way you will always come out on top because positivity will always conquer negativity and that's just how it goes and if you don't believe me just watch me grow and you'll see what i mean thank you for listening if you know anyone who can understand and really like see the adversity of this situation that i went through and learn something from it even if you this enjoyed the story that i like went through it was terrible um i really really wish it didn't happen and i like on tuesday after i learned that the shooting happened and it was brutal anyways yeah Thank you all for listening, and I am so grateful for all of you. Bless your hearts. Thank you.